Yo, yo, what up? So right here I'm doing some close grip pull-ups. Um, underhand close grip pull-ups. This is working out your biceps and your back. Your biceps and your back. And I'm, what I'm focusing on is getting that, that good isolation in the back and the biceps. So whenever you're doing any workout, just focus on that body part that is working out. So in this case, it's your biceps and your back. So I got the chair because on my last reps, I want to get the most reps as possible. And sometimes you can't do that with your body weight because you get to a point where you just burn out. So what the chair does is it helps you get the most out of your your workout that you can when you're doing pull-ups. So it looks funny, but it does help. Right now, my biceps are burning. The closer the chair is to your body, the easier it gets. So you see I brought it closer because it started getting harder and harder until you just go until so you max out. If you have a gym, you could do if you have a gym and you know you could already you already advanced to do regular pull-ups, still use that 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 thing that helps you. A lot of the pull-up machines have a thing that I, that you lay your knees on. Help use that. Use that. Even though you could do pull-ups, use that so you can get a burnout. Just burnout. Max burnout. So I just keep doing these pull-ups. dog so right there i'm just tired i'm just i'm go i'm getting my last reps get the most out of it taking a break taking a break don't take too long of a break and then get back on it get back on it back to assist me to get the most reps that I can flip it over so it might not look like it but my biceps are burning right there they're burning I'm getting my last reps my last reps Now what I'm doing, instead of doing reps, I'm doing negatives. So I get up there and then I go, I go slowly down. Get up there, slowly down, slowly down. The biceps are burning right now. So I only do like two or three. See, I can't even get up. Slow, slow, slow. Negatives is just as good of a workout. So I bring the chair again. Since I'm doing negatives, I'm just using the chair to get up there once and then bring myself down slowly. My dog's like, what the fuck are you doing? Let's play some fetch. Damn it. So I use the chair to get up again, just to get up. And slowly down, slowly down. See right there, my biceps were burning. All right, so now I'm going to wide grip pull-ups. This works out your back as well and your lats. It works out more your lats. Primary muscle that it works out is your lats. It also works out your biceps, but this is a, a workout that's going to give you that V shape, that taper. So these are a little bit more advanced. Uh, you could also use a chair on these as well. And only a chair if you know you have uh, what I'm working out with, like a power tower or uh, those pull-up bars that you hook onto your door. Because um, I'm sure at the gym they have the the knee assist that helps you get up. 
taking a little break and gonna jump back on it for like two more reps back wasn't feeling that good today but I'm gonna get the most that I can and then switch it up so here we go wide grip again one two three so my back wasn't feel, I wasn't feeling as strong as my back today you know maybe from prior workouts so what I'm gonna do to help me is or actually, oh, I must have cut it out. But I go to overhand close grip pull-ups. This is just like the underhand close grip pull-ups, but this is gonna work out more of your forearms and the opposite side of your elbow. So where your the opposite side of your elbow, where your your forearm and um, and upper arm bend, is gonna work out that L right there. bends right there that's what is going to get that cut so right below your shirt you can start seeing a little cut right there so here i go again one two three four five six seven eight one more one more oh so I can't get up on that last one. But what I'm gonna do, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it's on this one. Okay, no, I'm gonna go for more reps. One, two, three. Okay, so no, I guess I cut it out, but get the gist of it so now i'm going to i don't know exactly what these are called i guess high kicks this works out your core and that little v taper in between your crotch you're gonna feel it in your legs like above your quadriceps like right above your quadriceps you're gonna feel this but this is just a core workout also just a workout high intensity workout i'm trying my hardest not to hit the top of the pole because if my foot my leg lands on that top part gonna hurt i was thinking about putting a tennis ball but i was like nah because it's gonna motivate me like this is going to motivate me to not hit the pole so there's a couple times where i clip it but uh, trust me over time this gets harder and this is a little bit more advanced you could use this with a chair a little pole a stick anything almost anything and this is a little high but i mean you get just as as of a good workout with a chair or something you know a foot shorter so you already i took my sweater off because i was already hot so you get real hot real quick doing this workout boom one one two two three three four four five five six six seven seven eight eight Nine, nine, ten, ten, eleven, eleven, twelve, twelve, thirteen, thirteen. So yes, it's a workout, it's a killer workout. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do those, but I'm gonna add squats now, body weight squats. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and you get the point. I think I go for 30. So right here they're burning. You could tell you could see it in my face that they're burning right now. there my heart rate's up so i'm gonna take a little little break 
and then get back into the high kicks. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, eleven, eleven, twelve, twelve, thirteen, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen. I think I go for twenty. So right there, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm like, shit. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Get up, get up, get up, get it up, get it up. Go, go, go. Nice. So right there, my heart rate's beating fast. Set up, set up, take a little breath, take a little breath. Not too long, not too long of a break. Get back on it, get back on it. This is where it counts. This is where it counts. That's what I'm telling myself. Go back at it again. One, two, three. I think I go for twenty. So right here, when I'm doing squats, I'm focusing on isolating my legs, getting that pump on my abs, on my quads, on my calves, even uh, holding my core if I'm conscious of it. Be conscious of your core. Just boom, boom. And as you can see, I don't lock up at the top. I go just slightly from locking up because I don't want that break. I don't want a little break because that little second or split second break, if you lock your legs up completely, is going to give you uh, a big rest. For as little of a rest that is, as it is, it's gonna rest you a lot just that split second. So I don't lock up, I like to keep that burn going. So my legs are feeling good. I was going to start just uh, doing all pull up my back and biceps weren't feeling that good so I'm just my legs were feeling good so I'm just gonna finish off with legs so now I'm doing walking lunges when I do these lunges I go for a wide step wide step get that get that full range of motion boom 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 I see a lot of people when they do lunges they do little lu <coughs> excuse me <laughs> little lunges Go for wide lunges. Of course, be careful. You don't want to get injured. But as you start getting a little bit more advanced, go for those wide lunges. That was just an example. I did more sets, but I didn't, you know, just for the sake of the video, I just cut it out. Now I'm doing calf, calf raises. So with these calf raises, you'll see I change it up. So I do a set of 30, 30, and 30. So these are killer. These are killer for your calves. Boom. One. Two. You'll see what I mean right now when I change it up. But I do, I do 30. Boom. Boom. You see that pump? It's all about that pump. It's all about getting that pump. But what I mean by pump is getting that blood. Get the blood in there. As much blood as, and grip that tissue. You see? So I did 30 regular. Now I'm doing 30 with my toes pointed outwards and when your toes are pointed outwards it works the inner part of your calf it's like a ballerina boom 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 i, I go for 30 again the inner part of your calves Get those calves having some good calves is, is good it's good for your feet good for your ankles now i point my toes inward now i'm working the back outer part of my calf and i go for 30 again get that pump boom boom right now it's burning right now it's burning on my like, shit my like, shit 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 let's go let's go this is where it counts this is where it counts Go, 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 push, 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 push. This is it, this is it. Home stretch, home stretch. Home stretch, get it, get it. Don't take too long of a break. Don't take too long of a break. Get it, get it, get it. Get that pump in there. See the vein on the left leg? Even on both of them, they're just popping. And that's the workout. So it was a little longer, but I made it short. And uh, stay tuned for more.